Mwingi, 180 kilometers northeast of Nairobi, a harsh sun baked land classified as arid and semi arid. Uh, we have got uh, 23 counties in the country which are arid and semi arid, and there are the ones which are mainly affected by drought, which has become actually very frequent. We have had actually a drought um, coming in three to four years, but now the frequency has increased and even the intensity. And this actually calls for a lot of resilience measures to address the aspects of drought risk management. And one of the things that addresses that is actually this project. Here, water is scarce and every drop is a struggle for survival. For years, Residents have relied on shallow wells dug in the dry, sandy beds of seasonal rivers. But on the Mwanya River, hope runs deeper. This project, which is Mwanya Mangwa uh, Sand Dam project, was actually initiated and uh, through a process which we call uh, participatory disaster risk assessment. Eh? And uh, what happens is that uh, in disaster risk assessment uh, process, the communities are engaged, the community leaders are engaged and they come up with the issues that they feel are actually of major importance to them and which can address the aspects of drought risk. That is how this uh, Mania uh, Sand Dam project came. The Mwania Maungoa Sand Dam, constructed by the National Drought Management Authority, is rewriting the story of water in Kitui County. What we mean by a sand dam is that uh, it is uh, an area where actually has a good uh, coverage in terms of uh, uh, the water that can be inbounded. And uh, down here we have got uh, some very good uh, set of uh, st uh, rock, catch uh, rock arrangements which actually would inbound water. And therefore we, we came up with an idea to ensure that that, wa that, 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 that uh, arrangement is uh, reinforced through construction of, uh, construction of uh, cement with uh, stones and then we developed a wall. That wall now is used now to ensure that the water is inbounded and then what happens is that uh, when it rains the water which is, uh, which is flowing along the river uh, is captured there and then as the water flows it carries sand. So that sand actually is the one which uh, uh, buries the water down there. It is like a mattress which is soaked in water. Actually, one of the principles of uh, NDMA is to ensure that uh, we go green in terms of uh, climate change uh, adaptive activities. And in our study dam, what we have is a set of uh, 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 solar panels which have been arranged in a very good way and they can pump water to a very long distance. So down there in our subwell, we have got a huge pump which, can, which is pumping water to 4.87 kilometers from here to the main water tank, which, is, uh, which now is has a capacity of 100,000 uh, 100, liters. And then that water now is distributed to the communities. Powered by the sun through solar-driven pumps, this project is introducing irrigation and farming, turning barren land into green sustenance. We also have the aspect of now like uh, the irrigation. We are, as you can see at the back here, we have got some uh, uh, vegetations, uh, vegetables that are being grown around there. And this is ensuring that actually the livelihood component is uh, well addressed. And environmentally, when you look at this uh, project, it is very user friendly in the sense that uh, actually along this uh, sand dam, it is going around three kilometers. The water is flowing under, underground is around three kilometers. And what is there is that it has changed the environment. As you can see, there is a lot of green along, along the river, which means actually there is water there. For residents like Penina Mulaki, the impact is personal. Hapo mbeleni tulikuwa tunaenda mbali sana kuchota manji. Kama zisi wakina mama tulikuwa tunateseka sana. Juu kitoka nyumbani unaenda karibu masaa mawili kwenda na kurudi. 
unaenda karibu masaa mawili kwenda na kurudi sasa hata ukiwa umewasha kazi yako nyumbani hakuna kazi unaweza fanya ukirudi juu sasa umeshoka na hata umetembea sana hiyo kilomita 15 ni kama masaa mawili na ukienda huko kwa mto unakuta watu wengi sana watu wamenja sana sasa unafaa ungonje kila mtu apate yule ya kombele yako achote manji alafu na wewe uingie uchote over 2000 households now benefit kwangu naona hii manji ya national ground mimi naona imenisaidia sana kwangu juu saa hii siendi kushota manji huko mtoni na chota hapa nyumbani na napanda vitu yangu hapa napanda sukuma napanda nyanya napanda miongo napanda maembe saa hii nashunia watoto sukuma hapa kwa nyumba sinunui sukuma kwa kwa soko the communities actually are able to get reliable water source which actually is very beneficial to them through partnerships and innovation mwingi is finding resilience and in a place where every drop counts the future flows we have stakeholders who are un uh, also on international and also we have got government and non, uh, and also small ngos who are able actually to coordinate or are able to work together with ndma for this project particularly the european union has been a very big partner to ndma and it is the one which has supported this project to a tune of over 34 million Kenya shillings.